A can complete a piece of work in 18 days. B in 20 days. C in 30 days. B and C together start the work and are forced to leave after 2 days. The time taken by A alone to complete the remaining workers. Here, A can complete a work in 18 days and B can complete the same work in 20 days and C can complete the same work in 30 days. Now all are doing the same job. So take the LCM of 18, 20 and 30. Here LCM is 180. Now 18 goes 10 times in 180, 20 goes 9 times in 180, 30 goes 6 times in 180. Now the concept of this diagram means 180 unit is the total work. Now A's efficiency is 10, B's efficiency is 9, C's efficiency is 6. That means A can complete 10 unit of work in a day, B can complete 9 unit of work in a day, C can complete 6 unit of work in a day. Now here the question says, B and C started the work. B and C started the work. And they worked together for 2 days. Then after B and C leave and the remaining work is completed by A. So we need to find out in how many days A completed the remaining work. Here efficiency of B and C is 9 plus 6. 15 unit. That means B and C can complete 15 unit of work in a day. But here B and C worked for 2 days. That means in 2 days they completed 2 into 15, 30 unit of work. So the remaining work is 180 minus 30 which is equal to 150 unit which is completed by A. And efficiency of A is 10 unit. That means the remaining work 150 unit is completed by A in 150 by 10 which is equal to 15 days. So option C is your answer. Here remaining work is 180 minus 30 which is equal to 150 unit and time taken by A to complete the remaining work is 150 by remaining work by efficiency of A is 10 units, so 15 days.